Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be going over three terms we've learned and how to distinguish between them. The terms we have are codominance, incomplete dominance, and expressivity. These three things are seen in heterozygotes, so they might seem a bit similar. But that's why we have this video, to be able to differentiate between them properly. So, what is incomplete dominance? Incomplete dominance happens when the alleles of the parents blend their effects, creating a sort of intermediate in the offspring. If you look at the picture on the left, we can see that the red and the white parents have offspring that express a pink color. The red and the white blend to give that intermediate we see, that pink color. Next, we have codominance. Codominance occurs when both alleles are expressed at the same time, and none of the alleles are dominant over the other. They're both equally expressed. Let's look at an example. We can see that the offspring in the picture expresses both the brown and the white color. There is no mixing. Now, if we were incomplete dominance, the offspring would have probably been a light brown cow because the whites and the brown mix. The last term we are going over is expressivity. Expressivity is the degree to which a trait is expressed. It means the individual has the genotype for that trait, but the expression itself varies. Let's think back to the example of incomplete dominance we went over earlier. We saw that the offspring blended to give one color of the same shade, right? But in expressivity, there is variation in the phenotype. So if you look at the girls in the picture by the left, we can see that they all have varying shades of pink. They all have the pink phenotype, the pink color, but they all express it differently in different shades. Okay, before we go on, Let's have a direct comparison between incomplete dominance and codominance because they are the two that seem the most similar. We can see that in incomplete dominance, it's an intermediate between, between the two parents as I mentioned earlier. And the second picture has both the whites, or rather the second flower has both the whites and the ex red expressed, which tells us that it's codominance because the, tr the colors didn't blend. Let's go over a few more examples. Is this incomplete dominance, codominance, or expressivity? If you say codominance, you're right, because both colors are expressed. What about this one? We can see a blend, so we know it's incomplete dominance. And this one? If you said expressivity, you're right. All the flowers express a pink color, but the shades of pink vary. One last thing to note, though, is that codominance can also occur in small scales. If you look at this picture, you can see that the parents at the top left, you can see the parents at the top left. One looks red and one looks a bit white. The offspring shown looks like an intermediate, but if we zoom in and observe the hairs closely, we can see that each, in, each individual strand actually has its own distinct color. It's a mix of white and red hairs, but they aren't blended into one color. So. I hope you guys have been able to understand at least the main differences between expressivity, codominance, and incomplete dominance. That's all we have for today, guys. Thank you so much.